I'm five foot eight. I can't dunk, I can barely shoot, but if there's one thing I could do, is play defense. Until you put like a 6'8 guy on me that I'm cooked, but for the most part, I'm a defensive menace. So today, I'm making a 5'8 lockdown defender, and I'll be trying to break every defensive record in NBA history. It's not gonna be easy. So we're starting in 2003, if we go to player retirements, Michael Jordan had just retired, he's scared to face me, I get it. If you go to the draft lottery, it's a 2003 NBA draft with LeBron and them, with the first overall pick is the Cavaliers, so now, this could change NBA history. Will it be LeBron going first? For me. With the first overall pick, the Cavaliers select Amdula, the 5'8 lockdown defender. This will change NBA history forever. With the second overall pick, the Bulls select LeBron James, so he's going to basically replace Jordan. And then uh, the Atlanta Hawks are going to select Dwayne Wade. And the Blazers get a bot. And the Celtics get Carmelo Anthony, with Bosch going to the Jazz. So things are going to change by a lot. So here's the team. I'm the best player at 87 overall. I will not get any better except like morale boost, but this is it. My offense sucks, bro. My defense amazing. And uh, we got Big Z, so one of the tallest players ever on our team. And this team is so trash, I don't know. But the main goal is, I wanna mess up everyone else's legacy. I wanna lock down LeBron James, Kobe, etc., etc., and ruin their stats. Now, when it comes to the best defender of all time, you can argue it's Ben Wallace. My guy won four Defensive Player of the Year awards. We're gonna try to beat that, which means we're gonna take one away from Ben Wallace in this simulation. And I think the hardest challenge of the video that we're going for is the NBA records for a career. We wanna get the most rebounds, which is probably gonna be impossible at our height. We're gonna go for the most blocks. So we gotta beat Hakeem Olajuwon's 4,000. That's gonna be a miracle. And then steals John Stockton with 3,200. So hey, it's gonna be a lot on our plate, but I'm ready for it. I want you guys to comment down below. Who do you think the best defender in NBA history is? You can make a case for Tony Allen, Michael Jordan even, Hakeem Olajuwon, but who do you think it is? Me personally, it's probably Ben Wallace. I'm a Pistons fan. I'm gonna go with Ben Wallace. But here's the rotation. I'm getting 36 minutes a game. My only thing is, I hope I don't foul out. You know, I'm gonna play aggressive. Like my tendencies is to intercept the pass, take a charge, you know, on ball steal, shot contest. So, you know, I don't wanna put the foul all the way up because I actually wanna play and I get fouled out. And I think if we win rookie of the year, that would be the biggest miracle in, in a draft class this st uh, stack. If I win it, that'd be nuts. We're starting off pretty solid actually hold on we're eight and two i'm not putting up any points i'm putting up seven points but 18 boards uh seven blocks and two steals okay this is looking good this is looking good i'm actually excited to see by the end of all this like will i actually break every record and make the hall of fame as a 5-8 defender somehow some way we end up with a not only a winning record but a pretty solid record as well 52 wins tim duncan wins mvp look at that stat line 29 and 17 well, really, if you if, if you carry the five, um, you know, that's 18 at the end of the day. But I somehow win rookie of the year. This is nuts. Six and a half points, 18 boards, seven assists, 2.4 steals, and three blocks per game at five foot eight. I'm the GOAT. I beat LeBron James. But our uh, field goal percentage suck, man. 30%, 50% from the free throw line. It's ugly. And then uh, sixth man of the year goes to the alien himself. And defensive player, I wonder if I could win it every year of my career you know break ben wallace's record of four by a lot elton brand had a really good season too 28 and 11 sheesh but of course we're all nba first team as a rookie man the shortest actually outside of isaiah thomas we're tied shortest all nba first team player with kobe tim duncan kg and shaq and we're actually second in the east which is insane big z put up 18 points having a career season and then uh mike dunleavy he put up 14 points tony uh kukok 11 points and then Jermaine Jones with 12. A bunch of bots cooking up, man. I'm, I'm here for it. But the Celtics were first in the East. They drafted Carmelo Anthony, which is interesting because him and Paul Pierce are very similar, you know, both pure scorers. But hey, it worked. We're up against the Nets for the first round and we end up winning a five. Our next matchup is against Jermaine O'Neal, uh, Karan Butler, Eddie Jones, and the Miami Heat. Should be light work. Oh, uh, hold on, maybe not. 2-1. Wait, 3-1, I think we're cooked. Yeah, we lost in five. Big Z put up 34 points. How are you missing more shots than you're making as a 7-3 center? What? Meanwhile, I'm helping the team a lot. You know, two points in 38 minutes is nuts. I'm actually curious what my career high was. 28 points. Okay, so I did have a game where I scored a lot though. So that's, I mean, that's valid. 28 points in my rookie season. I made five threes apparently. I got 29 boards, which is kind of wild. Seven steals and eight blocks. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna break all these records by a lot. I want to get the first quadruple double in NBA history, and I think I think we could do it. It's the Celtics and Spurs. I think Spurs are gonna win it. Oh nah, Celtics win it, and uh, Tim Duncan still Finals MVP, but Carmelo and Paul Pierce. One of the best defenders also, Scottie Pippen, I forgot about him. He retired along with John Stockton. I was hoping our good record would recruit talent, but no one wants to come to Cleveland. It is what it is. This team's only gonna get worse, I think. If we don't make the finals in the first five years, I'm gonna demand a trade and go somewhere else. By the way, if you were wondering, for my rookie season, uh, I've got a season record right underneath Will Chamberlain for most rebounds in a season, which is crazy. You know, Chamberlain's like almost two feet taller than me, and uh, we are only 200 rebounds under him in a season. And then for blocks, we were fourth, right behind Tim Duncan, which is solid, and, and Theo Ratliff. Never heard, actually no, I, I, I heard it, bro. I'm sure he's a real person and a real player. And then steals, we had the most steals in the season. So we're off to a really good start, already breaking records. Year two, let's make it even better. Can we win MVP averaging under 10 points a game? That's, I actually wanna see. All right, not bad, not too crazy. You know, very similar to last season. Finishing out with 47 wins, Tim Duncan, he's, he's owning this era right now. Dwight Howard, rookie of the year. But Desmond Mason, sixth man of the year. And Tim Duncan, bro, what? First of all, his stat line is nuts. I'll give him that. 30 and 17 and three blocks a game is crazy. Did we fall off already? No way. We're not even all NBA. We must have gotten injured. That's the only, only thing I could think of because we're not even all NBA or all uh, defensive second team. Look, we're the fifth seed in the East, but we had to have gotten injured. Ah, yeah, see, we only played 58 games. I think you need to play a minimum of 60 or 70 games to be considered for awards. So that's unfortunate. You know, we are a small body, so uh, we're going to get probably bruised a lot. We did average 17 rebounds a game this season, eight assists, you know, two and two. And we only get two fouls a game, which is really impressive if you think about it. All right, up against Orlando, Tracy McGrady and them. They are going to hold on, 3 2. They win in six. Dang it, man. Yeah, T Mac and Mike Miller. 2 LP. And this season, who's going all the way? It's the Suns. Amari Stoudemire. Shout out to him. And Hakeem Olajuwon retires. I thought he was already out, so he probably set a record even higher now. Yup, he crossed 4,000. 4,168. I think we could beat that, bro. As long as we stay healthy. It's time we make a trade, and this is actually a pretty solid one. Mike Dunleavy and a bot for uh, Richard Lewis. I'll take that. Very similar play styles. Tall players that can shoot, but he averages 20 points a game. Mike Dunleavy averages 15. I will gladly do this trade. And out of curiosity, if I did want to leave the team, I could go to the Bulls and team up with LeBron James. You know what, man? I'm not going to do it just yet, but we have a lot of options we can go to. I'm going to give it one more season here in Cleveland, and, and we'll see. I don't know, man. I don't think we're going to break any uh, or win any championships in Cleveland. This record is we, we've been staying stagnant. Oh, my God. All right. Thank God. We win Defense Player of the Year, our second one in year number three. But we average four points, 12 boards, seven assists. And low key, two steals and two blocks is kind of underwhelming. I wanted some more, but I, I mean, it is what it is. I'll take what I can get. We are not even all NBA. No way, we, we, we can't peak as a rookie. LeBron, he's injured. Okay. Well, Cleveland, we're the sixth seed. Chicago's the fourth seed. They're only getting better. I might take my towns, you know, down the road to Chicago, play with LeBron. But let's see, round one up against Orlando, and this time we end up beating him 4-1. Only because T-Mac is gone. He was probably injured. Yeah, you know you know me. I put up zero points somehow. We got 17 boards and 17 assists, though. So, you know, game is game. Up against the seven seed Milwaukee Bucks, I couldn't even tell you who they had. And hold on, 3-2, we are advancing. We could, we could go to the finals. Hold on now, we're up against the Celtics. They are, oh, Antoine Walker's out for a couple weeks, but... Carmelo's a 90, Paul Pierce to 87, and they got Tyson Chandler. Not looking too good for us, but let's see. Can we do it? 2-2, two, two, down 3-2, and we're going to a game seven. All right, I do want to hop in and actually see my guy in the, in the cut. Oh, my God. We're getting whooped. Yeah, that's tough. Never mind. Boston just completely whooped us, man. Beat us by 30. Uh, Carmelo had 33. Yours truly. Horrible, even on defense, not good enough, man. All right, well, Celtics and Spurs, and the Celtics go back to back. Tim Duncan is still winning the MVP, though. Oh, also, Gary Payton is one of the best defenders ever. I almost forgot him and David Robinson, so that's tough. But I think now it's time 
if we don't re or if we do resign, I'm gonna trade him. I'm, I'm gonna get him out of here. Yeah, we signed another one year deal. To be fair though, I mean I'm I'm putting up good stats. Like I, I'm surprised I'm getting that, that many assists for a defender. But it's time we take our talents to a new team, Chicago. We could go play with LeBron. I don't want to play anywhere else really. I'm thinking of a team that's gonna get better over time. Uh, out of all the offers we got, Chicago makes the most sense. Yes, sir. We in Chicago now. So it's LeBron James at a 93 overall. Hopefully he signs back. Could you imagine he left us? That would, I, that would, that would sting. And we're with uh, Jalen Rose, Jamal Crawford, I had a voice crack, Danielle Marshall, Ben Gordon, who ended up being, I, unfortunately, I think he's, a, he's a, a, a crackhead now, unfortunately. It's tough. He played for my Pistons too. But I can see this team going all the way. We're a very defensive-minded team. Yeah, we're gonna cook. Okay, not bad, not bad. 54 wins and LeBron is MVP. Hey, is it a coincidence that when I came on the team, he became MVP? I don't know. He did get two steals and a block and a half per game as well. And we win our third DPOY, but with some weak stats. Only 11 boards, 1.60. Nah, these stats are weak. Man, that's like the worst defensive player of the year ever. Give it to Ben Wallace at this point. And we're only fourth in the East. I thought we would improve. Okay, how did uh, Jamal Crawford do? He averaged 13 points. Jalen Rose averaged 18 points. All right, bet. Okay, well, we should win our first championship this season. What? What? The Pistons? Detroit? Sharif Abdurrahim and Charlie Villanueva? What? Yo, Ben Wallace had five blocks this game, and I had how many blocks? I only had one. Yeah, he just shat on me, bro. That's tough. He really showed me up. That's tough. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, that's a hell of a season. Celtics, they just three-peated on us, man. Carmelo Anthony has three rings already. You're not gonna believe it, man. Next season, they did not re-sign me. The Bulls signed Vince Carter instead of me. They said they kicked me to the curb. Where did I end up? That's tough, though. I, I wanted to win with LeBron. We're on the we're on the New Jersey Nets? That's a new team. I'm down, I'm down, to, I'm down to see what's up there. We got Michael Red, Kerry Kittles, which that name always gets me. Jason Collins. Oh man, we know about Jason Collins, man. All right, get me out of this team, bro. I don't want to get I don't want to get uh violated. You know what? Now nah, I'm gonna stay on this team. I'm gonna stay on this team. I'm only staying because I might have a better chance to break records and you know, accumulate stats on a worse team. Is what I realized cuz last season was horrible. Yeah, we're probably not gonna make the playoffs with only 42 wins. Tim Duncan just crushing it. Kevin Durant now joined the league. He's putting up a steal and two blocks per game. And, okay, our stats, I don't know how we peaked our rookie season, though. Bro, look, our rookie season, we averaged 17 or 18 boards, three blocks, two steals. How did we get worse? I don't get it. That does not make sense. And uh, we also haven't been all NBA ever since, either. Tough scene, but we're the AC. So, uh, with will Carmelo in, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, we won in the first round. Michael Red, man, shout out to Michael Red and Mike Conley. And then shout out to me, man, for getting, uh... Quad quadruple single but we just ended their streak of winning championships up against philly we're down three two can we're going to a game seven we can't do this entire career without winning a single ring that would be tough and in this game seven on the road is pretty close i think i should jump in all right there i am on the court we got alan iverson guarding me we're about the same size anyway mike conley giving it back to me i can't shoot i can only pass so let's see who do i give it to good screen Dula attacking. I should have went for a layup instead, bro. No way he took that fading three. He missed it. Give me that board. Good screen. I'm going all the way. Nice pass to Kurt Thomas, I believe, or Tim Thomas. I don't even know, but we scored. Jared Jack with the rock to Bonzi Wells. Tying it up. Got ourselves a ball game. I have a bad feeling it's going to end in a buzzer beater. Let me cook. Pass to Kerry Kittles for three. Yes. We're up by one. Allen Iverson with the rock. Now nah, contested. We got Yi with the ball, back to Jared Jack. Hey, we're playing great defense. Everything is clamped. Jared, he's gonna pass that off. Oh, come on, man. Let me cook. Michael Red attacking. Giving it to me in the corner. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Relax. Good screen. All right, what's the move, man? Pass off to Kerry Kittles again for three. No, good read. Thomas, back up. Let's go. All right, we're up by one. It might come down to a buzzer beater. Who takes the last shot? It's gotta be Allen Iverson. No way to give it to anyone else. I wish I was guarding him instead of this guy, Carey, but he's playing good defense, going up. Yo, get the read, yes! We're set, we're set. That is game. 
And we do it. We advance to the next round. We live to see another series. Bro, Michael Red dropped 31 points. We had David West with 19. Oh, Ethan Thomas. Okay, he had 12. And then yours truly with 15 boards, nine assists, three steals, and three blocks. I did my thing. Now we're up against the six seed Bobcats. There's no way the Bobcats even stand a chance against us. Who do they have? They have Dwight Howard, Corey Maggot, and Richard Jefferson. Nah. I'm gonna do my own thing. We're gonna end up winning this one. What? You really lost in five? Bro, Maggot with 35 points. Come on, man. That's so tough. And instead, it's gonna be the Spurs going all the way. Damn, I thought that was our year. But actually, not bad. I mean, we went further than I expected. You know, on the bright side, we are getting a bag. Three years, 46 million. I don't think Isaiah Thomas ever got a bag. Like, he should have. He got injured in real life, unfortunately. But I might be the shortest, richest NBA player ever. Next season, averaging uh, 13 boards, two steals, and two blocks. You know what? The more I think of it, I think we do have a chance to break every record. I, I think we have a chance to break the rebound record, which I thought was impossible. The Nets, we are the fifth seed. Um, we didn't add anyone. Mike Conley got better. But I do want to see the, the record books after and do some calculations. We lost to the Suns in the first round. The Suns are back, back as champions. Carmelo Anthony, he already has four championships in six years. Unreal. Best career ever. But we played six years, right? Let's say we play 18 years. Let's say in total we play 18 years. So we everything will we, we, we'll times it by three. So three times basically a thousand, three thousand steals we could get there. Same with the blocks. That's gonna be tough. And then with rebounds, 18,000. Let's do the math again. I don't know, man. We'd be top three. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot, but we but we could pull it off. I just wonder if playing on a bad team will help us or playing, being on a good team will help us. So far, it's been kind of split. We got so much better this season. We got Sharif Abdurrahim and DeAndre Jordan. The thing is, he might take some of my stats away, but... You know, same with Sharif. But, you know, at the end of the day, if we can win a championship, that'd be cool too. Damn, we somehow got worse, bro. I hate it here. And I know our stats got so much worse. MVP goes to Chris Paul. Shout out, man. Shout out to the six footer, man. Yes, sir. 25 and 11. He's also one of the best defenders. Curry, rookie of the year. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay, bet. Okay, okay, I'll take it. We got traded the Kings. Well, when did this happen? Oh, we got traded midseason to the Kings. What? Okay. 13 boards, eight assists, two and two. Hey, game is game. I'll take that gladly. Are we all NBA? Nah, only one time so far. Damn. Well, uh, the Kings are not in the playoffs, unfortunately. How do we even land in, in, in Sacramento? We're playing with Pages Tiakovic, Chris Webber. It is what it is, man. When you're 5'8", they just ship you around. They don't see who's a valuable asset, I guess. And it's the Spurs winning the whole thing. <laughs> it's been the Spurs and Celtics the entire video. Man, Chris Paul, they kind of gassed him in 2K, man. I don't think he ever had an MVP-like season or even close. But, you know, it is what it is. Yo, LeBron! Aw, oh, man. He stole our DPOY of the year. 31, 10, 7, 2, and 2. Aw, oh, nah. We got we to spin the block. We got to spin the block next season. Okay, well, the thing is, the Kings were the fourth seed in the West, which is solid. And I only put up not even 2 and 2. Oh, I'm falling off. It's my worst season ever. 13% from three. Nah, it's my worst season ever. But can we at least win a ring so it's not a complete waste of a season? No, we lost to the Spurs. L career so far. If I see the Celtics and Spurs one more fucking time, bro. Every time, bro. Every time. <laughs> Yo, we're 10, you're like eight years in, nine years in. That's all I've seen. All right, we gotta, we gotta think of a new plan here because this, this is not going good. But we did get a bag, man. Five years, $89 million. I'm not going to give up on this team just yet. Damn it. We, uh, this dude LeBron really took it from us again. We used to be teammates, man. I low key, I think I should join the Bulls. I think I should join the Bulls. I should, I should join them back. Because, uh, here's the thing. We're the fourth seed again. But here's the thing. Look, I'm, pl look, I'm pissed. Negative three overall in this season. Look, 1.7, 1.4. No, 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 no. If we go to accolades, award history, uh, we're a six-time defensive player of the year. That's not good enough. We need at least 10. We're already in year number nine. So this next season, I'm going to force my way back on the Bulls. We're going back on the Bulls, and we're going to make sure LeBron doesn't steal. Damn, we lost in game seven. He doesn't steal my DPOY. Nick's finally a new team. Chris Paul goes all the way. That's fine. But it's time to pick a new team. I, I, I hate it here. And we're back in Chicago, this time featuring Vince Carter, LeBron, Maggot, and Jamal Crawford. Whole lot of guards on this team. I think I'll be playing starting point guard, correct? No, I'm coming off the bench as a sixth man. I'm a higher overall, but it's because I'm 5'8". 
is what it is. Off the bench, they can use my defense. Hopefully, we can uh, steal LeBron's DPOY, you know, take it back. Well, here we go. He, he, he got MVP. He averaged two steals in a, in a block and a half. But do we take it back? Yes, sir. My strategy worked, man. Get close to your enemies, man. You know, keep your enemies closer because now I got it back. My seventh. 2.4 points the game is unreal. 10 boards. It's all good. Hey, it's all good because we're the first in the East. We have a chance to win our first ring now on this stack dream team. Wow, we almost lost in that round two. There's no way. No, Washington is not doing that too. Yo, come on, man. The Wizards with Amari Stoudemire, DeMarcus Cousins, Dang, Jangs, Beal. Damn, they got a stack team. Damn, bro. And uh, the Jazz win the whole thing. Chris Bosh out of nowhere. Let's do some math real quick. We're 10 seasons in. We played 10 seasons in our career. And here are our numbers so far. Well, not even 3,000 points is wild. 10,000 boards, uh, 1,400 steals, 1,500 blocks. So if we play 20 seasons, times it by two. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. It's going to be kind of close. I might have to make him better on defense. Let me see his stats real quick. Uh, everything's maxed, though. Damn. I may maybe give him more minutes. I'll start giving him more minutes. We'll come back at the end of his career and see if we come closer, even break the records. Hellcat's going crazy outside. All right, we'll fast forward to the year of 2024, and I have officially retired. I already overrid it, so this is it. I played 21 seasons retiring as a Celtic. I played on like seven different teams, but here's how it went. Let's first start by seeing if we made the Hall of Fame, right? Hall of Fame inductees. Boom, we made it. We better have made it, honestly. We, we did pretty well. But yeah, me, Carmelo, Chris Paul, and Chris Bosh are all Hall of Famers. And in my career, I averaged only three points per game, which is probably the lowest, yeah, lowest ever for a Hall of Famer in real life. 11 boards per game, which is impressive for 5'8". Seven assists, which is right under Chris Paul. Two steals and two blocks. Chris Paul somehow averaged more steals than me, which makes no sense, but I did get more blocks. And this right here, 15 Defensive Player of the Year awards is crazy. And we also got five championships in one finals MVP and a six man of the year award. We won every award except the MVP, which sucks, but honestly, we probably weren't gonna win it. But yeah, really solid. And we made uh, all defensive first team in 19 of the 21 seasons. Now LeBron finished out with the most points, you know, just like in real life. And then when it comes to three pointers, no, I'm not gonna be anywhere here. I shot horrible. But rebounds, we finished fourth right under Tim Duncan. We couldn't pull it off. I really wonder if I met my player like 6'9 or taller, if I could have done it. I wonder how much my height played a role in that. Probably a lot. And then for assists, we finished third right under uh, LeBron James. And then for blocks, bro, we sucked. Even LeBron got more blocks than us. But of course, it's because of our height. Um, but we went pretty far. For a 5'8 guy, you know, everyone here is seven foot except LeBron. And then for steals, we finished third. LeBron, man, he crushed the simulation. That's tough. So mission failed, challenge failed, but hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see me break every record with one player, check out this video right here. I'll catch you guys soon, man. Peace.